Hello, second graders. Welcome to Learn and Share. We are doing problem solving. In this video, I'm going to share a word problem with you. I will also discuss the different problem solving strategies that I used when I was in second grade. So let's get started. Problem one. Mr. Ben wanted to give each of his six students three coins, but found that he needed two more coins in the end. How many coins did Mr. Ben have at first? Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video to solve the question yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let me show you. Mr. Ben wanted to give each of his six students three coins. Mr. This is Mr. Ben, and these are his six students. Each of you will get three coins. So he starts giving three coins to each student. He found that he needs two more coins in the end. Oh no, I don't have three coins for you. I need two more coins. What do you think? How many coins will this girl get? Yes, she will get only one coin. I have only three minus two equals one coin. So here is her one coin. How many coins did Mr. Ben have at first? Hmm, let's see the possible strategies to solve this problem. Possible strategies. Number one, addition strategies. Number two, multiplication strategy. Addition strategy. So whatever Mr. Ben had, he gave it to all his students. And here it is. If we add all these coins together, we will get how many coins Mr. Ben had at first. And that's what we have to find. So let's do it. Adding all the coins each student has. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 equals 16 coins. Mr. Ben has 16 coins at first. Yay, we solved the problem with the addition strategy. Let me also show you the multiplication strategy. Then you can choose whichever strategy you like. I personally prefer the multiplication strategy because it is more efficient. Let's have a look at it. Multiplication strategy. Step one, finding the total number of coins needed. Total number of coins needed. We have six groups of three coins. Can you tell me what will be the total using multiplication rule? Right. It is six times three, which is 18. So let's write it in a proper way now. Number of students equals six. Number of coins to be given equals three. So number of total coins needed equals six times three, which is 18. Step two, subtract the coins that Mr. Ben does not have. Let's cut the coins that he does not have. Number, number one cut and number two cut. Can you tell me how many coins are left now? Let's write it in a proper way. Number of coins Mr. Ben needed equals two. This means number of coins Mr. Ben had equals 18 minus two equals 16. Mr. Ben has 16 coins at first. Yay, we solved the problem with multiplication strategy.
Coming up is the fun part, and that is... Make your own word problem. Here is a tip. We can use the same word problem and change the number and objects to make a new word problem. Here is an example. A mom wanted to give each of her three kids two chocolates, but found that she needed one more chocolate in the end. How many chocolates did the mom have at first? In this way, you can create your own word problems. So don't wait, create and solve your own word problems. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.